It's time now for the Athlete of the Week, and it's brought to you by Diamond Point and Sock Center. And with us today is a Melrose athlete. This is Sam Sogren. Well, Sam, we'd like to start out. Uh, tell us about your family, okay? Um, there are seven kids in my family. Um, my parents' name is Josh and Melissa. And, yeah. And where do you fit in? Just go through I'm all the, the names. Oldest. Oh, I'm okay. the oldest. I'm the oldest. It goes Sam, Coy, Will, Evie, Cece, Addie, and Sylvia. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of big families anymore, are there? No. No. And so, how's it going uh, at home then, with a big family like that? It's good. Okay. It's Where do you live? Good. Lake Sylvia. Okay. If you know All right. Where that is north of Melrose. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, let's uh, find out what activities are you are involved in the school. Football and wrestling. And anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's touch on the wrestling. Uh, can you uh, describe the season that you've had to this point? Uh, first of all, how's the team doing? Um, we're, we're not the greatest as a team. We have a lot of open weights. So, um, yeah, I, I'm doing all right. Mm -hmm. Well, tell um, us about the, the, the tournaments that you've been in and, and the, the results that you've had. Um, I'd say my best tournament so far was the Big Bear up in Cass Lake. Um, I got fourth at that tournament, and that's one of the biggest tournaments in the state. Um, and I took first down at the Painesville tournament. Um, those are probably my two best mm -hmm. tournaments so far. You know, as you wrestle as a team and then as a, a, a member of that team, and you have the open weights and the score isn't going in the right direction, uh, how does that affect you as, as a wrestler? Do you uh, concentrate on that or you just try to accept it for what it is? Or how do you react to that? Uh, yeah, I just try and focus on the positive and, you know. Okay. Yep. As you wrestle, when did you first start wrestling? Uh, ever since I could, probably first, second grade. Okay. Yeah. And what led you to become a wrestler then? Uh, probably my dad. He, uh, he pushed that quite a bit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. As you wrestle, now you're a heavyweight, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, how would you describe that your style of wrestling, and, and how did you develop that style? Um, I, I, I don't know. I try and work on my offense a lot. Um, most heavyweights are defensive, like no offense at all really but I try and work on my offense as much as I can so is it kind of a almost a, a trial and error type thing to where you you find out what you can do well and what you can't do well um, yeah usually you work on the things that you can't do really well because mm -hmm. if you're already good at it then so it we'll, need a whole lot of work yeah so what would you say that you're good at um, I'm good at my double leg okay yeah <laughs> so then what are you working on um, upper body stuff most heavyweights are really good at that upper body stuff but i'm not the greatest at upper body so like throws yeah okay and duck unders as you then wrestle against some of these guys that you're uh, facing right now and ob obviously the uh, goal is always to get to the state who are some of the guys that are in the way and, and what kind of problems do they present to you um there's fergus falls kid and the detroit lakes kid it'll it'll come down to that at the section um, they're both great wrestlers, but, uh, I think I can beat them. Hmm. And you so. never know, right? Yep. Okay. Um, you know, let me ask you this to, to take wrestling and trans, transform it into playing football because you're a lineman, right? Yep. Okay. Can you put together as a wrestler, what techniques do you use as a wrestler that can carry over to become a, a good lineman in football? Um, your hips hips is um and being a down lineman you're getting hit every which way and wrestling comes in a lot right there hustling in for melrose one of the d linemen in there now is going to be sam sogren who's a good wrestler for the wrestling team as well i always like those wrestlers as down linemen up there you bet. The balance that comes with wrestling is so helpful for D-line play as you're getting pushed around in every direction. Sogren at 6'1", 285. He's in there now as the nose guard. Third and short. He'll try to stuff the run here if that's what they end up doing. And Eden Valley Watkins will hand it off straight up the middle, and there he is. There's my guy. Sogren makes the tackle. Do you enjoy being more on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side? Defense. 
And why would that be? You tackle the guy with the ball. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, it seems to me, too, the linemen that you had on your uh, Melrose football team this year, are you guys pretty tight? Yeah. 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 We're, uh, they're going to be set next year, too. So. so so who are some of the guys that you get along with, and uh, what are they like to play with? Um, I get along with uh, Derek, um, Derek Welly, Blake Lairs, um, Brad Hellerman, Adam Hellman. Um, they're, they're really good teammates, and I was glad I got to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to touch on, too, that uh, just with uh, the athletes that come out for football and for wrestling, as you mentioned, wrestling is a little short on numbers. Yep. Uh, as you have now wrestled all the way through to where you're a senior now, uh, what would you say to somebody, uh, a younger athlete, and say, hey, why don't you go out for football? Why don't you go out for wrestling? Uh, why would they want to do that? Um, it teaches you dedication and to just that it's worth it in the end. And those people that quit, they, they say they won't regret it, but they will. Eventually, they will regret it. Mm -hmm. so. Well, that's outstanding. And congratulations on making it through. Thank you. It's been a, a tough road, though, right? Yeah. Yep. But you've made it. Yep. And good luck uh, the rest of the way, and you go get those guys that are in your way, well, okay? All right. Sounds all right. Good. I should you. ask you, uh, uh, after your senior year here, what are your, have you thought about some of the plans for next year? I think I'm going to go to Alec Tech for law enforcement. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. What takes you down that path? Um, I, I don't know. I like the idea of being out and I, you have to be uh, physical still, you know. I like the idea of that. So there's not a lot of other jobs that you can do that yeah. unless you're going to play in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. Well, you're right there. Yep. Okay. Well, good luck with that. All right. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Yep. Thank all right. you. That is Sam Sogren. He is the Athlete of the Week and is brought to you by Diamond Point and Sock Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports.